Derivative application unit 2 tangents and normals. Question 8. How many horizontal tangents does the graph of f of x equals to x minus 1 square times x minus 3 square have? Well, it's a part of practice. So you can pause the video, solve the question and then look into my suggestion. Now, what is a horizontal tangent? Horizontal tangents means derivative is zero. That is the meaning of horizontal tangents. So basically, we should find the derivative of this function equated to zero and then figure out how many values of x can satisfy it. Then we know how many tangents can have zero slope for this given function. So f dash x for the function is equals to, we'll apply product rule. So derivative of the first function was just two times x minus one to the power of 1 times derivative of this is 1 times the other function which is x minus 3 square plus derivative of the second function which is 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 1 whole square right so that is what you get now we can simplify this it's better to keep it in factored form so don't really uh, expand simplify since we want horizontal tangents, our f dash x is equal to zero. That is what we're trying to find out. So it's better to keep it in this form, which is factored form. Let's factor it further. So we have two times x minus one is common, and we also have x minus three common. So we'll take them, and we're left with here x minus three from the first term, and the next term we are left with x minus one, correct? So that is how we can factor it. Now it could be written as 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 3 and within bracket what do we get? x plus x is 2x, right? So let's write 2x and minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. So that is what we get. We can factor this 2 also out so it becomes 4. 4 times x minus 1 times x minus 3 and we're left with x minus 2 equals to 0. That is what we have now. Now, each factor could be 0 leading to horizontal tangent. So the possible combinations are three different combinations. So one we could have for x equals to 1, the other one is x equals to 3, and the third one is for x equals to 2. So we have three different possibilities here, right? So for a given function, there are these three intercepts or these three points I should say not intercepts these three points where the tangent to the curve is going to be zero or horizontal right so let's try to graph this and see how the situation could be so for graphing let me just make approximate I'll do a approximate sketch here on the right so what do we have here Let's look into the function f of x. It has double zeros at two points, one at one and at minus three. So, uh, so these two points are on that side. So at minus, I mean plus one, sorry, plus one and plus three. So we have these two zeros for f of x. We're just providing f of x here. Now, degree is four, leading coefficient is positive, correct? And therefore, the graph should move upwards. Right? We can find what f of x is when x equals to 0. So that means f0. So let's find out what is f0 equals to. If you put 0 here, you get minus 1 square, which is 1, and 3 square is 9. So it is 9 for us, right? And you can see this is a degree 4 function with double zeros, right? That is, order of these zeros is 2. So that function will turn here, correct? That is how it should be. Now we can connect these points and sketch our function, which should look like this. So that is, that is the function for us, right? So we can just connect these points and say, well, that is degree 4 function. Now these points given to us are at 1 and at 3. What we found here 
is that the horizontal tangent is at 1, is at 3, and also at 2. Do you see that? And also at 2. So as you can see from the graph, we have a horizontal tangent here, horizontal tangent that is x-axis itself. So these are the three points where you have horizontal tangent, right? So I think from the graph it is very clear as the points where we should have horizontal tangent, right? And therefore our answer is we have how many horizontal tangents? We have strictly speaking two horizontal tangents. So answer is we have two horizontal tangents. Why two? Because x axis is one and the other one is right there. Do you see that? At at two, right? If you want, you can find the equation of this horizontal. The equation is if you plug in two here, you get the equation of the horizontal tangent. Let's figure that out. So we have f of two, right? So we figure out what is f of zero. And now we so what is f of two? F of two is at two, what is the value of the function? Let's figure that out. So this is f of 2 equals to 2 minus 1 whole square times 2 minus 3 whole square. And that is 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 minus 3 is also 1. It is 1. So this point is 1. And therefore, we can write down our equation. Two horizontal tangents. And the equation for those horizontal tangents is y equals to 1 and y equals to 0. So these are the two horizontal tangents to the given graph. I hope you understand and appreciate this. We did get three points, but remember, we don't have three tangents. There are only two tangents, right? Thank you.